Welcome back to the GeekWop video. In today's video, I'd like to take you over the best $250 gaming PC build for the month of October and November 2015. This build isn't going to be smashing the latest AAA titles such as GTA 5 and The Witcher 3. However, it will do very, very well in some of the more common titles that a lot more people play, such as your League of Legends, your Minecraft, your World of Warcraft, uh, so your Dirt 3, Dirt Rally, uh, your Racing Simulator games, all, that, all those sort of titles, and it will perform between 720 and 1080p, 30 to 60 FPS in those titles. Great for bit of productivity as well. So let's get straight into it. The CPU I've gone for is the A87650K. AMD are the king of APUs, and APU combines both the graphics and the CPU into one, making this an APU. It's their A87650K. It's a quad-core CPU, meaning if you do add a GPU in later on down the line, it will be compatible with all of the latest AAA titles and all of the latest games, due to it having four cores as opposed to your slightly cheaper two cores. It comes out of the box at only 3.3 GHz, but it is overclockable, and this is a really, really nice APU. Also works for a bit of productivity as well, so if, if this is pairing as a computer for schoolwork and homework and whatever that may be then this is then this is perfectly fine as well and if you uh, decide to have 25 tabs open on google chrome like a lot of people do then this cpu uh, is also easily capable of handling that the motherboard i went for was the cheapest motherboard that won't impact upon performance this is the asus a68hm-k it's a micro atx motherboard which is the middle uh, motherboard form factor so you're not paying for you're not paying a premium for small and you're not paying a premium for huge uh, instead you're getting something with all the functionality that you need in a slightly smaller form factor it's a micro atx motherboard as i said with an fm2 plus socket to facilitate the fm2 plus cpu it's got onboard usb3 pci3 and support for dual channel memory which we are going to be taking advantage of and for 39 dollars this is really is a great buy for memory, I went for uh, two 4GB DIMMs of Crucial Ballistic Sport. This comes clocked at DDR3-1866. This RAM looks really, really cool. So if you do, if you do get, uh, if you do look at the internals of your PC, which a lot of people that build PCs do, uh, a lot of cases have Windows on. This case doesn't, however. Uh, but this really, really solid RAM because there's two sticks. That will mean twice the bandwidth uh, for the APU as opposed to having one 8GB stick. The higher clock speed uh, is beneficial for the APU as well because unlike a GPU, it doesn't have its own onboard memory. It Instead, it uses the system memory, hence why 8GB is what we've gone for as opposed to 4GB in this build. For storage, I went for a 1TB Seagate Barracuda. Uh, now, WD Blues are regarded as slightly more reliable drives, but I've been using Barracudas for quite a while and never had a single problem with one of them, uh, even when they're running 24-7 on a NAS, uh, which basically stores reads and write loads of files. Um, this drive will easily hold all of your files, so all of your games, all of your music, all of your movies, whatever it is, schoolwork, whatever, one terabyte is more than enough. Uh, an SSD is a, is a future upgrade uh, for this later on down the line for your OS, but with Windows 10, your system should boot up within around 30 seconds on this drive, uh, maybe even a less. Uh, three and a half inch form factor, 7200 RPM, really solid hard drive from Seagate. For the case, I went for something with an inbuilt power supply, and there is quite often quite a bit of controversy controversy sorry uh, with inbuilt power supplies and cases but this logist get I, can't, I still can't say the name of the, the name of this brand name uh, the cs6801 bk it's a micro atx mini tower which means it's quite a small form factor that have whilst having plenty of room uh, for the motherboard that i've gone for for 38 dollars and it's a really solid case it's got decent uh, ratings on new egg well very good ratings in fact which does lead me to believe um that the power supply is very reliable and even if it doesn't run at 100 percent efficiency you aren't going to be needing to utilize hardly any of the all 103 350 watts uh, on board as this system only has a tdp of 184 watts and that wraps it up for this month's build uh, this month's build of 250 dollars this build is really really solid if you do build it tweet me a picture at geekwatt and once again thank you very much for watching uh, today's geekwatt video make sure to like comment rate and please do subscribe subscribing helps me a bunch and uh, hopefully we can grow the channel and achieve my dream of achieving uh, of half having sorry uh, a great tech channel. Once again, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next GeekerWatt video.